Okay, let me read this. Time and date. Um, the rules based order. The neoliberal global order is morally unjust. Why is it morally unjust? Well, I would say, well, I guess I can find it. Why? If it's not possible to morally condemn what is happening to the Palestinians, then there is something wrong with the system that is unable to condemn it. This is evidence that the neoliberal global order is unjust. Oppressors can't condemn oppression. Or it's like um, oppressors cannot condemn fellow oppressors. Or uh, to put it another way, oppressors cannot condemn fellow oppressors. Oh, the reason the West cannot morally condemn what is happening to the Palestinians is because they themselves are the, ben the beneficiaries of a global colonial oppressive system. The West has brainwashed the global population into thinking they are the better, the morally superior. This is a very strange contradiction. How can the West claim to be morally superior when it cannot condemn injustice? I hate this rules-based order. I am glad it is going away. I hope a more just world order arises in its place. I guess what I'm trying to say is like, uh, because the West, the Western society is built on a history of colonization and present uh, exploitation and oppression of countries that are um, not in the West. <laughs> um, uh, how do I say this? And how, what am I trying to get at? See, uh, see, for, for Israel, the existence of Palestinians or the aspirations of the Palestinian people to be independent, to have their own state, to Israel considers this to be like a national security risk. They are afraid that if Palestine is established as a state, that will in the future, the Palestinians will get an army and they will <laughs> crush them or something. So they don't want the Palestinians to have a state. Um, and what they're doing in Gaza is effectively, and I think a lot of people can see this very clearly, they're, they're trying to get the Palestinians out of Gaza and basically, um, <laughs> it's called ethnic cleansing. I mean, you don't have to kill off a population to, uh, you know, forcible, forcible. Well, I, 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 I don't know the uh, legal definition of ethnic cleansing, but what, what, that's what they're trying to do. And I guess the Israels will say, oh, this is a security issue for us. We can't have these people here because if they're here, they're going to, you know, they're going to do October 7th and, you know, they're going to, so. 
And the West looks at that and says, oh, wait a minute, if we were in Israel's position, wouldn't we do the same thing? <laughs> so uh, it's like it's like the, the, the uh, you know, the, 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 that's why the, uh, the, the, the West is finding it difficult to, to I, mean, I mean, I don't know, man, this is just so fucked up. Um, the fact that uh, you know we in, and and the and the Israel is going to make the argument. Well, you, Israel is going to say, "Well, we these people are a threat to us. We can't have them here." And you know they're gonna Israel is gonna tell the West that well you would do the same thing so you can't criticize us for what we're doing I mean I don't know I mean Uh, let me just read this. Um, uh, I think this is going to be a difficult war for Russia. Ukraine is not an independent actor. It's a tool used by the West to bludgeon Russia. Russia doesn't want to take away, to take any more Ukrainian territory. What it wants is a security guarantee from the West. This they will not get. So they're going to have to fight this long, drawn-out war, a war of attrition. Ukraine loses an average of a thousand soldiers a day. It may end up, it may end up losing millions of its citizens, of its uh, people, by the time this war ends. Ukraine will be destroyed as a state and what's left of its people end up as refugees. No one wants them, not even Europe. They become a burden. This is a uh, clash of civilizations, of ways of being, the rules-based order against sovereign states acting under international law. Russians will suffer, the West gets to... Um, the West gets to sit this out, or so it thinks it can, using Ukrainians to do their bidding. It's terrible, but alas, I fear it must be. It's a terrible war, but it must be, or it was forced upon Russia. Uh, I mean, you know, people talk, oh, well, Ukraine has a right to be for state, and they can do it. I mean... There's a history there, man. The people on the Donbass, they're Russians. They want to be with Russia. And the Ukrainians were trying to, you know... <laughs> they became Russophobic, so, you know, it's like... It's a complicated history there. There's a lot of nuance and context, and, well... Russia has the military power to defend its interests, and it's doing it. The West can go in and bomb countries like Syria, Libya, destroy them, but they can't do the same to Russia because Russia is uh, more militarily powerful. And, um, you know... So what do I think going forward? Well, uh, you know, I, I, um, I think the world needs to move to a place where I think they need to move to a place where uh, people can learn to live in peace uh despite being different <laughs> uh 
uh, instead of trying to make everyone fall under some kind of a global neoliberal capitalist whatever that kind of a system i think we need to genuinely move to a world where people are uh, societies are very different and uh, there must be a way to work with and respect differences and build genuine neighborly relationships instead of uh, having a hierarchical exploitative global system there needs to be like a a a relationship amongst equals or as equal as you can get you know people who can respect each other's differences um i do think eventually if we can move to that kind of state eventually we will organically maybe over centuries uh, if we, if we survive we may be able to transition into a truly global civilization but we need to go through a, a phase where there has to be respect and 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 a global civilization has to gradually develop you cannot impose it uh, from top down i don't think that's going to work has to happen like uh, organically over time it's going to take time it's just going to take centuries maybe uh 